Hello student of grade 10, we'll do exercise 1.2, chapter real number, question number 7, and I will do one more extra question. Question number 7. There is a circular path around a sport field, so near takes 18 minutes to go one round, and Ravi takes 12 minutes to go one round. If they start at the same time, and in the same position, if they start... Uh, driving they are asking the question after how long or after how much time they will meet in the starting point so this type of situation we always have to do else the question may be like that there are three, three traffic signal light and each uh, light are lighting after uh, suppose red is lighting after some second blue is uh, green is lighting after some second and orange is lighting after some second that means at what time all the three lights will glow together that means you have to find the lcm different timing is given and what time they will meet means lcm so let us find out to find the lcm we can use prime factorization method 18 is 2 into 2 into 3 sorry 2 into 3 into 3 and 12 is 2 into 2 into 3 so lcm we have to find Common is 3, 2, first we multiply the common number, then multiply the uncommon number, 3 into 2. So you'll get 9, 9, 4 is 36, 36, so you'll write, therefore, how many minutes they will meet? So, they will meet, again at, after, Not after, at 35 minutes. Clear? Exactly at 35 minutes they will meet. Extra question. Find the smallest number which when increased by 7 is exactly divisible by 6. You are going to find one number which can be divisible by 6 and 32 also. So when you are going to find a number divisible by 6 and 32, you have to think that I've the number will be greater than these two because you are going to find is divisible by 6 and 32 also so that means when the number must be greater than these two means you are going to find the LCM only so 6 when you break it 2 into 3 and 32 when you break it 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so LCM will be common will write once and the remaining number 3 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So 32 into 3 is 3 to the 6, 96. That means we can divide 96. We can divide 96 by 6 also and 32 also. Okay. Now your question is. You have to find that number if it is increased by 7, then only it's divisible. 96 is exactly divisible by 6 also and 32 also. So your question is to find that number. If you increase by 7, then only it is divisible by these two numbers. So the exact number will be, the required number will be, this 96 minus 7. Is 89 now 89 is not divisible by these two number but if I increase 89 by 7 then it will be divisible by 6 also 32 also so your exit answer is 89 you can pause the video to write the solution thank you